Welcome to today's video. Today we will be crocheting the Summer Sunflower Pot Holder using single stitches and slip stitches. Stay till the end for a special little message that I've made for you and for a Patreon shout out. So to start, we're gonna start with our brown, which is gonna be the center of the sunflower. We're working in the round. You're gonna tuck your tail under your working yarn and then take your hook through the front of the loop and pull your working yarn through. Now this part's a little tricky. You gotta hold everything so that nothing slips so that you can wrap around your yarn and pull through to make a little knot. And then you're gonna yarn over and you're gonna chain one. We are not counting this as a stitch. And then you're gonna go through the loop, yarn over, pull it out, yarn over, and pull through both of your loops. And that's a single, uh, single stitch. You're gonna make six of those all the way around for our first row. Once you're done with all six stitches, you're gonna pull your tail so the center loop is tight, and that way your sixth stitch is meeting up with your first stitch. And you are going to slip stitch right into your first stitch. So make sure you count, find where your sixth, or your first stitch is, I should say. You're gonna slip under it. Make sure you're not slipping into your chain stitch. And then you're gonna yarn over, pull through, and you're doing a slip stitch into that first stitch. So yarn over and chain one. And then in this first stitch, we're gonna do two single stitches. And we're gonna do two stitches in every single stitch all the way around. So we started with six in our first row and we are going to end with 12 in our second row. Our third row is gonna start off exactly the same. We're gonna go into our first stitch, do two single stitches. And then in our second stitch, we're only gonna do one single stitch. So that's a little three stitch pattern that we're gonna do all the way around this third row. So we should end with 18. Always make sure that you count a row before you continue on to the next row. In our fourth row, it's gonna be a little four stitch pattern that we repeat all the way around. Our first stitch is gonna have two single stitches, and then we're gonna have our next two stitches each with one single stitch. So it'll be one, two in our first stitch, and then one in our next one, and one in the next one. So by now, I'm sure you understand this easy little pattern. You can increase this, um, this brown section as much as you want, as big as you're gonna want your sunflower to be. Um, and then you're gonna move on to your yellow and you're gonna keep doing the same exact pattern until your pot holder is as big as you want it to be. So I have a little bit of time right now in the video to talk about why we're doing a single stitch for this one instead of a double stitch or a half double like we've been doing. The single stitch takes a little bit more time to do than the double or the half double stitch, but the, um, the thing about the single stitch is that the holes between the stitches are much smaller, and because this is a pot holder and you're making it to pick up hot, uh, yeah, hot things, you're going to want these holes to be pretty small so you don't risk burning yourself. So that's why we started with the single stitch in this particular project. The single stitch is a much stiffer stitch, so your work is going to be a lot more sturdy as opposed to a half double or a double stitch, which are much more floppy and flexible. They're a lot more relaxed, which is why they make a much more comfortable like hat or something. The half double is my favorite stitch to use to make um, winter beanies and stuff because they're nice and warm, the holes aren't too big, but it's still nice and flexible and stretchy and comfortable funny note I was gonna make this a little bit bigger than it is I was gonna add like two or three more rows but my hands are cramping so bad today I could not keep crocheting it hurt so bad make sure you guys stretch when you're crocheting because otherwise your hands will cramp and it is not fun so these little detail pieces we're gonna be slip stitching from the back through to the front slip stitches are very interesting they're very simple little stitches and they are really good for adding little patterns and stuff onto things. So stick your hook in at the base of one of your petals, and then I'm starting at a corner so I can just go right up between the increases, and you're just gonna slip stitch right through. Don't pull it tight or anything, just keep it loose and just yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. It's pretty simple, and you're just gonna keep going up the line pretty easy to follow the little line going up. The holes are pretty much in a straight line. And then you're gonna chain one at the very top and then the stitch right next to you, not, not right next to the stitch you just came out of, you're gonna do a half double crochet. So you're gonna yarn over and then go through your stitch and then 
yarn over and pull through the stitch, and then yarn over and pull through all three of the loops on your hook. And you're going to do three of these in the same stitch, and then you're going to slip stitch into the stitch right next to you, right next to the stitch that you just came out of. And then you're going to follow those holes right back down to the base of your petals. Come right back up and go into the hole next to the stitch just above the one you just did. And follow that right back up, right alongside of the line that you just made. And then you're going to make your three half double stitches again. And you're just going to keep doing this all the way around. I tried to make sure that I was following um, one of the increase rows, one of my... Uh, I consider them corners for this to kind of keep track of where I was. I tried to follow the increase rows. I hope that made a little bit of sense. Um, I think I had maybe four petals on each of my sides, so that's 24 petals total going all the way around. I could be completely wrong. I don't have my work with me. I'm recording this long after I've finished and I am not near it. So to tuck in my tails, I ended right where I started, and to tuck in my tails, I am weaving them up through these slip stitches that are poking out just because it's easier. And then once I got to the top, I tried to slip them in under a few other stitches on the back side, which was really hard. You don't necessarily need to do this part, I just wanted to make sure that it was secure. Once again though, make sure you tuck your tail in in the opposite direction that it was sticking out under a few stitches at least to keep it secure so the center doesn't come loose. And this cute little project is done! Look at that texture! Big shout out to Jamie McBride for being my first supporter on Patreon, I really appreciate it. If any of you are still struggling to make this that is not a problem, I got your back. Summer is approaching. Protect yourself from the heat. Samara's Summer Sunflower Crochet Kitchen Set is available for pre-order on Patreon. Only five sets are available, so grab your stylish summer set before it's gone. Made of 100% cotton and machine washable. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. I hope you learned something from this video. If not, let me know what I could do different in the future. I hope you have a wonderful day and happy crocheting!